Joseph Duclos. But before that, I want to say that I'm glad you're on my channel. Welcome to Haynes Luxury Vlog. If you're keen on investing in a piece, then weighing your options is a very important step. If you're new to my channel, welcome. We talk about here all about luxury brands. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below. Joseph Duclos is a luxury brand that specializes in high-end leather goods, including handbags, wallets, belts, and accessories. The brand was founded in Paris in 2015 by two friends, Nicolas Joseph and Armand Duclos. They started the brand with the aim of creating timeless and luxurious leather products that combine classic design with contemporary style. Joseph Duclos products are made with the highest quality materials, including Italian leather and hardware, and are handcrafted in small batches by skilled artisans in France. The brand's signature style is a combination of clean lines, minimalistic design, and bold colors, with a focus on functionality and versatility. Some of Joseph Duclos' most popular handbags include the Belle de Nuit, a sleek and structured leather tote, and the L'Opera, a chic and versatile crossbody bag. The brand also offers a range of wallets and small leather accessories, all crafted with the same attention to detail and quality. Overall, Joseph Duclos is known for its commitment to craftsmanship, quality, and style, and has quickly become a favorite among fashion-forward individuals looking for luxury leather goods that are both elegant and practical. Having worked at Hermes and Moana, Ramesh Nair was recently named the creative director of 267-year-old Parisian Joseph Duclos. Paris-based Nair, who graduated from the first batch of the National Institute of Fashion Technology in 1989, has spent the well over 20 years in Paris, owning his skills, at Y, Yoji Yamamoto's label, Christian Lacroix and Hermes under Martin Margiela, then creative director who soon became Nair's mentor. In 2010, Nair joined the legacy trunk-making house Moana, and with his unique approach put the 19th century Maison back on the fashion map, the accessories and leather goods, becoming collector's items for the informed fashion girl. It was formally announced that Nair had joined Joseph Duclos. The brand was founded as an exceptional tannery established in the late 1700s, by Joseph Duclos, a merchant from Toulouse who counted French royalty as his clients. Duclos Tannery had royal warrants with leathers mainly used for furnishings and wall coverings. Craft was central to his work, as was a focus only on natural tanning methods. Nair's first collection for the brand, which was unveiled at the Joseph Duclos flagship store in Paris famed Rue du Faubourg Saint-Honoré, in September marks the brand's fashion debut. The initial offering includes bags, jewelry and candles. Under Nair, like with the brand's founding philosophy, slow fashion and a focus on tradition remains. In an exclusive Ramesh Nair tells Vogue about his new innings at a French heritage brand. Excerpts from the interview below, in the mid-1700s Joseph Duclos, an entrepreneur from the city of Toulouse, decided to combine three small tanneries in the historic town of Lectour. In this idyllic setting, Duclos invited about a hundred master craftsmen from all over France and Europe and encouraged them to develop the finest leather-working innovations to achieve uniquely refined results. In 1754, King Louis XV signed letters patent in recognition of the stellar work of Joseph Duclos, naming the tannery a royal leather manufacturer. Almost 300 years later, Frank Dahan, a Paris-based entrepreneur and art collector invited me to resurrect this legendary leather house, this time with finished creations. The Diane bag is named after one of the water sources or springs that was used by the historic tannery Joseph Duclos in Lectour. My inspirations are always multiple, so for the Diane I delved into the origins of Joseph Duclos to research the kind of leather-making processes that may have existed then, as well as the kind of objects those leathers would have been used for. Thus, I selected a heritage calfskin leather with natural tanning techniques that develops a patina over time. 
The form of the Diane is inspired by 18th century coin purses, while the flap recalls ceremonial dispatch cases. The clasp is a jewel-like foraguerre taken from ceremonial decorations and it simultaneously evokes the arrow of Diana, goddess of the hunt. The bag is entirely lined with naturally tanned leather in our signature Lictor blue. Quote Nair. I hope you like this vlog. And if you're not my subscriber yet, the button is below. Like and subscribe. Lots of love to everyone.